Because I am going to pull from the, it's like an empath deck, but it's called the Mystic Forest. There we go. The Mystic Forest deck to give you an energy to see what you are dealing with, to see how you feel, to see what you got going on. Um, and then we're going to pull from the Broken Mirror. I can't think of the name of this deck here. And then what lies beneath. And then we have the Telepath. Um, yeah, life source. We have the telepathy oracle and business and two tarot decks. It says life source. When life comes to a standstill, turn inward and focus on your on joy and excitement. Your inner light keeps everything alive and moving. So understand that whatever the that the universe is putting you or testing you about, uh, embodiment. You need to embody it. It says now is the time to make your mark in the world. Your you you decide what feels right to you. Embody your leadership power and create your world out of your deepest desires. So embody everything that's happening for you. Ask yourself why, not why is this happening to me, but what is this trying to teach me? And that is, sorry, I have to find somewhere to put my cards. That is the, the, the thing that we need to learn, um, how to embody the things that we go through and see what it is that you're trying, you know, that the universe is trying to teach you. So, you know, the life source of what it is that, you know, when it comes to you being at a standstill, what you have to do, what, what you have to go through and what you're dealing with. Toxic people came out and then, sorry about that, um, avoidance. So yeah, avoiding toxic people. So these are the people who suck the energy out and this makes you feel guilty because you know that they're toxic, but yet and still, you have to make these decisions to be able to trust in your inner self, your intuition, and to try to stay away from them. So it says addictive bad advice in the wrong crowd. So when it comes to dealing with the wrong crowd, you should avoid those type of energies. And somehow, some way, you feel bad because you don't or you can't. One of the two, um, it could be something that you, you know, people that you work with. It could be people that you live with. It could be certain situations. But when it comes to you having to know that even – you know, work is like work and come home, and that's it. You don't have to hang out with them. You don't have to have lunch with them. You don't have to do those things. The only thing you need to do is just be, go there, do what you got to do, and some people are afraid to do that because they don't want to feel like they're acting funny, but at some point, you have to avoid the toxic situations. You have to avoid the toxic energies in your life, and when you don't do that, when it comes to your life source, it can deplete you, and I'm going to read the life source again. Yeah. Fears of how somebody will take you or the unknown of what if I do this? What if I deal that, do that? Feeling guilty. Yes. Did you smile today? Believe, implement, and solve. Solve the problems that you're going through. Embody them. Don't feel guilty about them. The only thing you can do is know that, yeah, you can't get that time back. So at some point, you have to be able to get through. I'm, I'm going to have to put something here because that drives me crazy. Um, but you're going to have to get through your darkest fears of the unknown of how somebody will treat you or whatever. And know that basically with this life source being here, it says again, um, when life comes to a standstill, turn inward and focus on the joy and excitement. It says your inner light keeps everything alive and moving. So, again, your inner light, you're the one who has to be able to make yourself smile Nobody else can do that. So nothing else should be able to control your emotions. And those are the things that we have to learn from. We have we have tantric sex, we have envy, and we have uh, sexual protection. So the universe is protecting you because at some point, this is the energy that's been manipulating you. There's been lies. There, there's been certain types of controls. And you've been getting played or feeling like you've been getting played. And, you know, the thing is, is that expecting a new beginning is you knowing that you are going through this in order to get through something else and so embody all the things that you're learning in this moment and in this time don't don't think about the fear the fear is basically the past the past causes fear and the um the future causes uh anxiety and so the only thing you can do is live in the now and know that you know that the toxic people and avoiding them and how they make you feel uneasy and when it comes to you having to make yourself happy you have to do that anyway so yeah girl with the snake so this is it says charmed or used enable our boundaries that means that you need to set boundaries the phoenix is here you need to set boundaries and you know who the phoenix is the phoenix is somebody who rises from the ashes by making healthy choices in their lives self-love self-care being happy 
happier love and life. And so, again, did you smile, implement, solve the problems, embody what you've been through and what you can go through? But the possibilities of right now is to set the boundaries and be able to enable your not not to enable yourself with the toxic energies. This could be you, you know, it could be the types of addictions. These because it's sex, envy, jealousy. This is toxic energy. So it could be the addictions of the people that are around you. So these people that are around you cause you to feel uneasy, but you know that they put you in the dark shadow and in the dark light. So the only thing you can do is be the light of your own source, uh, to, to be the person who's getting yourself through this, because at some point you have to realize that you're in control of your life and the lies and things like that, you know, and the way that somebody makes you feel like a puppet or, you know, we got to rise from the ashes. You got to be able to know the difference between the things that um, are causing you to feel guilty and feel uneasy about. And so when it comes to you being a creator, being your own boss, manifesting the things that you need out of life. Uh, yeah. So all the cards came out. It can feel intense. Um, rising from the ashes can be very intense when it comes to you having to be open in regards to the things be open to receiving divine guidance and relationships so this could be the relationships of the toxic people whether it be situationships or not these are toxicities that are around you and we have guilty yeah guilty comes out twice two different card people uh or their apologies remorseful feeling ashamed it says don't let guilt get in the way of your happiness that's why you have to be your own life source you can't wait for somebody it says rekindle right every relationship has those magical moments that can be rekindled however when it comes to the avoiding the toxicity because of the could be drugs could be some type of addictions that you have could be codependent energies of trying to help people you have to look at the synchronicities of why these situations and people and types of people keep coming around you it says divine soul matches have amazing moments and synchronous synchronies and it says the answer is yes trust your intuition and then past life remember the past causes fear we re we reunite with our loved ones over and over in different lives when we don't learn those lessons sometimes it could be a good thing sometimes it could be a bad thing but it says surprise you may be surprised outcomes things like that makes you surprised and i'm sorry i think i said this is a business type a deck or being an entrepreneur no this is an empathic deck that's right here and so at some point you have to realize that you're in control of your own destiny nobody else can be in control of that you and the universe and so the things and the people that keep you feeling guilty about you know their lies their manipulations and the things um uh, yeah and then being in competition with you it says remember that there is no competition if you are truly original so you have a niche that you need to figure out what it is but you have to do the work a niche uh with your unique experiences and fresh perspectives you would do very well specializing in a niche so the thing is is that your niche could be helping people it could be doing the inner work for other people but it can't be with the toxic people they have to receive any some other type of help you know addictions things like that you have to avoid this type of energy because we're like um and i tell my kids this all the time you know you can be a sponge and let me show you hold on inner work and healer is here so you can heal based upon you doing your inner work, learning your niche, learning where, you know, there's no competition in this universe with you. Nobody can compete with you. But if you do the inner work and understand that nobody is going to hold you back, let me look at, hold on, I'm going to show you what I sent I sent to my kids because I'm, I'm constantly telling them to understand why I say things that I say because, you know, at some point you can, you can listen. Oh, look. So... I sent this to my kid. Oh, wait, you can't see it, but let me try to see. There it is. Listen to respond or listen to understand. And I always tell my kids, you can be a sponge, but you can be like milk. You know, you can be a sponge, but if you wipe up and you clean up the wrong mess and you don't clean it out, you know, so learning from your past, learning from the mistakes and learning from the toxicity and the toxic people, listening to respond is that is water going over a brick and listening to understand is you're soaking up the water, but they, you can soak up the water or you can soak up the toxicity 
And that can cause all of these different fears and feeling guilty because when it's time to separate yourself and actually have to learn from it, you're the one that has to do the inner work, which is going to be hard. And so that's where the boundaries come in at, if that makes sense. It says, don't be afraid to prioritize your personal growth and spiritual development. Health and wellness are necessary to enjoy an abundant life. So again, enjoying an abundant life means that you are free from all the guilt, all of the uh, ma manipulation, the lies, the toxicity, your, uh, the fears, your guilt, you're free from all of that by doing the inner work and understanding that you do have a calling to help people, but you're not helping the toxic people. They have to do this on their own. It has nothing to do with you. And if you have, you can make yourself smile every day and embody that you have the power to help and not hinder people and the people that are just like that milk when you soaking up the sponge you're soaking up all their toxicity their addictions their you know and trying to fix and show them that life is better on this side of the plane or this or that but they are doing this and they feel like they're competing with you and you're like I'm not even looking at life like that I'm, I'm not competing with you you don't have anything that I really want. I'm just trying to help you be you. And you think that this is a game? It's not a game. So you have the key. The niche is the key to understanding that you're not in competition with people. You see the key is here. The lock is here. You're not in competition. So remember that there is no competition if you are truly original. So the things that these people do, they're not original because they are having all these different toxicities in order for them to be able to get through life and you're just like I'm trying to fix the past life I'm trying to fix and and help you with your pain and you know uh rekindling I'm not really trying to do that yet three of cups energy I'm trying to help you get to a point to where they can realize their their gifts and so th the thing is let's see where it stops almost unsure almost in the reverse yeah, Ten of Pentacles, you can't get to this point uh, of having your rewards and being happy and 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 um, feeling, um, what is it called, um, feeling, you know, secure and having long-term success if you're dealing with the dark side of the, 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 the financial failures, losses, toxicities, things like that. So that's why it comes out. But the Three of, the, the three of Cups is here. Um, letting you know that, you know, somebody isn't grateful for this situation or for you being in their lives. And you know that, you know, it's just a, a situation to where you have to become independent and avoid um, dealing with the type of um, situation to where it brings no balance or whatever. So that's kind of how I see that energy, you know. So the manipulation and the lies cannot come in this situation. But it's going to be very intense for you to find the things that make you happy and make yourself smile yeah unsure energy of the hermit energy going it's soul searching but if you're stagnant you're not going to be soul searching and if you're st constantly worried about the fears and the toxic energies and the what ifs um in the world and not doing the work you know and setting boundaries then you know you're constantly going to be in competition with yourself because you're constantly going to question the things that the universe is telling you to get away from and so the hermit energy is you know pulling your, you back in, and this is fear here. This is fear of going into hermit mode, to being successful, to having friends that you can trust because everybody made you in the past feel like they you were in competition with them, if that makes sense. And so it's going to be an intense thing to be able to say no and to be able to get through, yeah, out of this hangman energy, but, you know, you're the one who is uneasy about this. Yeah, you have to make endings um, – and the tower energy says, um, sometimes you have to tear down the limiting structures, tower energy you have built for yourself to move forward, rebuild better, stronger, and wiser. And in this, there is a man here. Can you see? Hold on, let's see if we can get. There is a man here um, falling out. There is a pe people falling out of the tower. And at the bottom of the deck is the sun. This is the growth. Finding your niche and understanding that you have to let go of the past. And it's going to be very intense. But again, the insecurity, Seven of Swords energy, is more intense if you don't deal with it. And so that's kind of how I see that energy. I'm going to pull from this tarot deck to see what else comes out. Because again, once you end these things and you're not afraid to do it, 
can't. Look, chariot energy, you move forward with grace. You move forward with grace and also, yeah, um, ace of uh, cups energy, the opportunities to flow. They flow to you, but you have to get out of the toxicities and you have to be able to, yeah, look at the insecure energy. Remember, it just showed his face and have clarity. Page of swords energy, have the clarity and be willing to learn and understand that, you know, sometimes the new ideas and your curiosity for what it is that these people have going on is going to always cause you to feel guilty because you can't fix somebody who doesn't want to be fixed. That's why you have to be the phoenix to rise from the ashes, set the boundaries, do the inner work, and make yourself smile. And it's going to be an intense feeling, but that's what growth is. Growth is you actually having and finding the things that make you happy, the niche when it comes to business, but when it comes to real life finding what makes you happy and what makes you grow. And that is, again, letting go, tower energy. The tower energy, you have to. So here it is, a man and a woman here. This is a, a king and a queen having to end things. Sometimes you have to tear down the limiting structures you built for yourself to move forward, rebuild better, stronger, and wiser. And that is so you can be the knight of wands. Drake energy, you only live once. Be bold, be fearless, do what you love. And that is how to get through this energy of feeling defeated or feeling guilty for making a decision to get away from the toxic people in your life, if that makes sense. And so that is how I see that energy. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the uh, crystal deck because I think uh, in the four agreements, I think this is a really good energy. You have to be able to get let go of the fear and get out of the toxicity. But that is tower on both of the, the these decks, both of these. Hold on, let me see. Did I see what was at the bottom of this deck? Oh, I think it was Tower. I don't know what it was, but Knight of Wands is here. But anyway, I forgot. There you have it. The Chrome Diopside is the Heart Chakra. Yeah, you have to learn to heal. Send strength and healing to these people. Hopefully they will heal. And it says release the need to be right. You cannot be right with somebody who always thinks that you're wrong, who always thinks that you're in competition with them. So, therefore, the only thing you can do is get out of that because this energy right here, excuse me, of you feeling like these toxic people aren't going to, you know that they're not going to make you grow or help you grow, you have to get out of that. So it says release the need to be right. Be impeccable with your words. Say what you want, mean what you say. When you believe something, you assume you are right, and you, you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Set your boundaries. Set your boundaries away from this stuff. Integrate release and grow integration release and grow the chrome diopside and it says i am emotionally and physically healed and whole i am emotionally and physically healed and whole and that is what you have to understand you're your own life source you are embodying the pain and the pe the past and everything when it comes to setting your boundaries and that is by doing the inner work and knowing that you have the power to integrate to release and to grow no matter what the situation is so let, let's let's let this old energy go happy birthday cancers it's almost our season is almost over but as i tell everybody i, I celebrate my birthday for at least a couple of months but it's getting intense and that is where we are these are the new phases of life and that's what the phoenix is rising from the ashes. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, bad, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.